Hey Black Desert players, a few of my friends and I have been coming across some questions from newer players in this game regarding what kind of accessories or other armor pieces to find around level 56 and Awakening, that area. Um, some of the people have been having trouble finding good ways of progressing in the game. Um, but we have a really good answer for you, and it's an accessory set that some of you might already know, some of you might not, but it is this accessory set right here. This is the Azula's Crimson accessory set. You get two earrings, two rings, a necklace, and a belt that you can get. All of these items are found by grinding monsters. Uh, you cannot buy them on the market, you cannot sell them out the marketplace, you can only sell them to a vendor. But they are very good for early game uh, progression. The first item is the Asula's Crimson Eye Earring. It starts with 7 AP at beginning. It has a max HP of 25 item effect. And it is very good. You can get two of them by grinding. And when you upgrade them, you actually get a plus 1 DP for each uh, level up. So prize plus 1 DP. And you also get 1 damage reduction and uh, one plus one AP against enemy monsters. So this is a very good starting item you want to go for first. The next item on the list is the Asula's Crimson Eye Ring. It gives a plus seven AP as well, but also gives a plus two DP at base stats and a plus two damage reduction at base stats. The only thing different about it is that it doesn't come with a starting item effect. Otherwise, it upgrades relatively the same as the earrings. Next is the Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace. This actually gives you 11 AP to start with, which is excellent for any beginner player. Um, but it also gives you a DP ratio value as well, but it's not plus 4 because this is one's actually upgraded. I think it's plus 2 DP to start, maybe plus 3 DP to start, I can't remember exactly. But it also gives you 4 damage reduction after you upgrade it to Pry. Um, the item effect you get is extra AP against monsters, plus 1 which is really good as well. The last item on our list is the Asula's Crimson Eye Belt. This one's a little bit harder to get usually and it's usually the last one people try to attempt to get but it gives you plus 6 AP and its item effect gives you a weight limit plus 100 which is ridiculous. It's a great item. Uh, it's a good payoff and all of these have a set effect when you apply three of them in the, when you equip three of them you get a max HP of 300 and then when you get a 5 set you get all accuracy plus 20. This is a huge buff to your character that you can apply but this set is going to take time to actually acquire. You can't buy it off the market so you're going to have to grind for all this stuff as I said earlier. Where you can find this stuff however is fairly easy. You need to go to Helm's Post to get the earrings and rings. You can get all four of those from just this Helm's Post. You need a 90 AP to 110 AP recommendation. And if you're looking to grind your last few levels to get to 56 before Awakening, uh, this is also a good place to go. Helm's Post's uh, ex experience rate is very decent. The monsters are a little bit difficult at first to fight until you get a little up to that gear score, really. But it's it's worth it. It's totally worth it. I recommend doing that. Um... I know I might have said get your earrings and rings first, but you might actually want to come over here to the abandoned iron mine and get your necklace first because your AP only has to be 70 to 90 recommendation. I'm not sure how accurate that is um, to fighting and stuff like that, but what they say is what they say. You can get your necklace from here. The necklace. You only need one of them, so it's actually probably faster, and you get that 11 AP buff instantaneously. And then the last one, the belt, you have to come over to Elric Shrine. The reason why I say people usually go for this one last is because the requirement to fight these guys is a little bit higher. Um, AP 95 to 150, which for some people before Awakening form, that's actually kind of difficult. I, I had trouble when I first started playing trying to get the belt. So... You probably want to do this one last. You might not even go for the belt because you don't actually need it for the five set effect. But that is what I've got for you guys. That's the set you want to go for. That's your going. That's that's your prerequisite to getting into the desert 
and fighting monsters like the Desert Nagas and the Desert Fogans, which will get you a lot of money. But these guys here, uh, they give you a 54 gear score and they give you a 45 AP and a 9 defense with a couple, when that was with a few prize in, in there. But that's all I got for you guys. I will see you guys later.